In this video, we'll be comparing the two absolute titans of the Linux world, Debian Stable and Arch Linux. Both of these are legendary, both are super popular and both are extremely different from each other. Debian Stable is that rock solid set it and forget it system that just runs year after year, update after update. It's built like a tank. Arch Linux is the complete opposite energy, latest kernels, freshest drivers, bleeding edge packages and the almighty Arch user repository that lets you install basically anything under the sun. You own the wheel here. I've been playing with Debian 13 Trixie and Arch Linux on my new laptop and the experience that I'm getting here from these two couldn't be further apart. So in this video, we'll be comparing them side by side. Performance, stability, software availability, the user interface, installation, gaming, and absolutely everything else. Finally, we'll see which one comes out on top. Let's jump right in. Performance, how well a distro runs on my machine, it's extremely important for me. So let's start this by taking a look at the performance of both these distributions. Here both Arch Linux and Debian show very interesting performance profiles. Right off the bat, Arch Linux with its rolling release model gives you the latest stable kernels after installation. And this is a huge advantage for gamers or anyone with brand new hardware because you are getting the absolute latest drivers, schedulers and performance tweaks. One thing that I really like is Arch gives you kernel options like Linux LTS, Linux Zen kernel which is absolutely turbocharged for desktops and gaming right in its official repositories. Debian Stable on the other hand plays it safe. It ships an older long term support kernel like the Linux 6.12 LTS series in the newest Debian 13. This is all about that solid stability and predictability. But there is a catch. Sometimes on very new hardware, Debian has issues with components like GPU drivers and Wi-Fi paths. Debian 13 has released just now with Linux 6.12. So right now that's not an issue but maybe a couple of years down the line, it is going to be old. Another thing to keep in mind is Debian's focus on universal compatibility. It uses a standard optimization level to create software that runs reliably on the widest possible range of systems, both old and new. The priority is making sure that it just works everywhere. However, the performance of these techniques may not be the best. Arch Linux on the other hand targets only the modern x86-64 architecture. So it builds its software with more aggressive modern settings. Now let's talk about resource usage. Arch Linux installs are pretty bare bones and this is because absolutely no extra services, applications are automatically installed. Arch Linux is a clean slate. A Debian install is also very lightweight, though it often uses a bit more RAM due to a few more default services. On a full desktop environment like GNOME, the RAM usage on both the distros is gonna look very typical around 1-2 GB RAM. But Arch Linux feels a little snappier here. This snapness is because there are a lower number of services running in the background. A fresh Arch install is very lean. Arch Linux wants you to install any and all the software and services, additional components that you want to use. Combine this with newer software versions which tend to be more optimized and better in terms of performance, I think we get that snappy feeling here. And on larger computational heavy tasks like gaming, rendering and compiling, both the distributions are going to be very similar to each other, with Arch Linux taking a slight lead. Ultimately, when you talk about the performance, both Arch Linux and Debian Stable are both very optimized and turbocharged systems and they are going to be ready for any workload that you throw at them. But yeah, if you want to maximize performance, you can check out lighter desktop environments like XFC or Mate that both these distros provide during installation. All in all, in the performance section, both the distros get a point each. Moving on to the software availability and management section, this is where we see the biggest divergence between these two distros. The philosophy, the package manager, the quality and quantity of packages available here and the final experience that you get from these two distros is extremely different. Let's start with the old boy here. Debian is all about providing a rock solid predictable experience. It uses the apt package manager and this is very mature and harmonious. Debian stable has a very rigorous multi-stage testing process. Before a package makes it into Debian stable, it would have been tested to an insane degree. And this makes the whole Debian system incredibly reliable. I mean, Debian is used on servers running million dollar workloads. If that's not stability, then what is? And Debian also has one of the largest software repositories on the planet with more than 60,000 pre-compiled packages ready for you to install. You can pretty much sudo apt install any software on Debian. 
But obviously, to achieve this legendary stability, the software in this stable branch is by design quite old. But since Debian 13 Trixie has released just now, you can expect decently new packages at the moment. One thing that I actually like about Debian Stable is there is no snap and flat pack hassle here. You can install both if you want, but right off the box, you get a very clean system. Debian is a very low maintenance system. It's a set it and forget it kind of deal. Perfect for people who want a computer that works without any fuzz. Arch Linux on the other hand, this is a completely different experience. Exciting would be an understatement. Arch Linux is a rolling release model. This means you get a continuous stream of updates. Basically, there are no version numbers here. You just keep updating and you're basically on the newest of everything. This has one huge advantage. This gives you the latest features, latest performance improvements and security patches as soon as they are rolled out by the developers. Arch Linux uses the Pacman package manager written in C. This package manager is simple and fast. Arch Linux 2 has good software repositories with a decent number of packages, but no as close to what Debian has. But Arch Linux has a secret weapon that changes the game completely. Maybe its biggest selling factor, the Arch User Repository or the AUR. This is a massive community-driven collection of build scripts that let you install absolutely any piece of Linux software you can think of. From niche command line tools to proprietary apps, if it exists for Linux, it will be available in the AUR. The software availability, the software delivery mechanism here. I think this is probably the biggest deciding factor for most people on which to choose between these two. Yeah, you make the decision right here. If that perfectly solid computing platform is what you need, then Debian is the workhorse you can depend on any day. Arch Linux on the other hand is extremely dynamic. Yeah, you get the newest of everything, but you have to be in the driver's seat. And these repeated updates, they can be slightly dangerous. It is rare, but things can break. And you have to take up the job of the system administrator, making backups and all that stuff. Arch Linux and Debian take completely different approaches in the software department. But I feel that most people can decide which one to go with based on this aspect itself. But the ultimate experience is super polished on both of these. So they both get a point each here. By the way, if you haven't already, check out my course Linux Mastery Express. I've designed this course to level up your Linux skills very quickly. With this course, you'll get so comfortable using the terminal commands that your friends will think you're a Linux wizard. You'll get perfect with the most used, most useful commands and also learn advanced things like using the vEditor and shell scripting as well. Linux Mastery Express, link in the description, do check it out. Okay, let's talk user interface. Now Debian and Arch Linux both are extremely flexible with desktop environment options. You can install any desktop, GNOME, KD Plasma, XFC, Cinnamon, whatever it is during installation. And both give you stock versions of these desktop environments. Arch Linux actually gives you just a command line interface and setting up a graphical user interface was actually a headache back in the old days, but now that has improved significantly. Using the new Arch install script, you can easily install a desktop like GNOME. At the time of the making of this video, both Debian 13 and Arch Linux come with the GNOME version 48. But of course, Debian is going to hold on to this version for a long time while Arch Linux is going to move up version numbers and get new features as soon as they are released. But still, if you are talking about the user interface, it's extremely similar on both these distros. Debian feels more usable out of the box. There is LibreOffice for office work, a good browser, a software manager. Yeah, you can just start using the system after installation. Arch Linux, on the other hand, it needs you to manually install these things, which many would consider as core components of an operating system. Ultimately, Debian or Arch Linux, they don't have a default desktop they ship with. Neither are you limited to using any particular desktop environment with these two systems. You can use them with any flavor of your preference. And you're going to get stock versions of everything. So let's give both these a point each and move on to the next section. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room, the installation experience. Between these two distros, there's a massive difference in this department. Now Debian is all about getting up and running with almost zero friction. It's designed to be a smooth ride. It comes with a graphical installer that guides you through every step. Hardware detection, network setup, partitioning, it's all very smoothly done. In partitioning, you can choose guided partitioning to use the whole disk or jump into manual mode for more control. You can also select your desktop environment and when it's all done, you have a completely ready system. Historically, the one big headache was missing Wi-Fi drivers. But with the last Debian stable version, they now include non-free firmware by default, pretty much solving that problem for good. 
Arch Linux on the other hand hands you box parts and a blueprint. It embodies that pure do-it-yourself philosophy. The classic Arch install was a command line journey. It was absolutely exhaustive and not at all beginner friendly. Yeah, I'm going to be blunt. It was a learning experience, not gonna deny that, but you had to have a lot of time and patience for that. But Arch Linux has solved that to a huge extent with the introduction of the new Arch install script. This has made the whole thing so much simpler. It's still a CLI tool, but I still feel that this is quite simple. This tool guides you through a text-based interface that automates a lot of the heavy lifting. You configure desktop, drivers, software profiles, and all that stuff. Now, here's the thing about the installation of Arch Linux. Arch is a phenomenal system and it has so much to offer, but the installation process here creates a huge fence that limits who gets in. And maybe that's even a good thing. Yeah, maybe. After installation, both Debian and Arch Linux give you clean slates with Debian providing some essentials out of the box. And Arch Linux, you need to install even some basic utilities manually. Debian clearly takes the installation point home because getting started with it is just simpler, beginner friendly and a complete process. Stability is another area where Debian and Arch Linux are on completely opposite ends of the spectrum. I feel that this defines the entire experience. Debian is legendary for its stability. It's built like an absolute tank. The development philosophy is simple. Test everything to death. Debian has a fixed release cycle, dropping a new stable version about every two years. Once a new stable version is released, the software is largely frozen. This is done so that you get a predictable, consistent environment that you can run for years with almost zero maintenance. Each release gets at least 5 years of security support, making it a top choice for anyone who needs a system that just won't break. Debian 13 Trixie released just now and it's going to be supported for the next 5 years. But there is a trade-off. You are going to get older software. You won't always have the latest features, but you can use things like backports or flat packs to get newer versions of apps if you need them. Arch Linux, on the other hand, is a completely different beast. It's a rolling release distro, meaning you'll get a constant stream of updates with the latest and greatest software, kernels, drivers as soon as they are available. This makes Arch phenomenally good for people who want the newest of everything. But this bleeding edge approach means stability is now your job. You have to be very proactive in this matter. You are expected to update regularly, weekly at minimum. Check the Arch News space for changes that need manual intervention and never do partial updates. For people who are willing to take care of this system for the huge benefits Arch has, you just cannot go wrong with Arch. But since we are talking about stability, Debian easily takes the point home. But you have to remember that neither is actually better. It all comes down to what you want, stability or to live on the cutting edge. Okay, forget stability, forget the software availability, and let's talk about the most important thing here, gaming. Okay, let me be clear. If your number one goal is pure unadulterated performance, you're building a gaming system primarily, I think you should go with Arch. Right out of the box, you get the absolutely latest kernels, the graphics drivers, and this directly translates to a slightly higher frames per second in games, because you're getting better hardware support and access to the newest features in Proton, Wine, and all of that, and with a single command, you can even install an optimized gaming kernel like Linux Zen. And the Arch user repository that we get here has a good collection of specific game launchers, niche modding tools, and even Git versions of Proton, which can be useful for advanced gamers. Debian may not have this additional edge in gaming performance, but I think it too is a very good gaming choice. I have done very long gaming on Debian and I feel it was fairly simple. I installed Debian, installed Nvidia drivers, installed Steam, which brought its own Proton and all of that, and I just got gaming. The performance was good, it was hassle free and I couldn't complain about anything. Ultimately both are very good for gaming and I think I have talked about the differences or a very tiny difference in the gaming experience that both these distributions have. Even if you are a hardcore gamer, you'll be fine with either of these. Make your decision to pick which one to go with based on the other areas that we have talked about in this video and you'll be absolutely fine in the gaming department with both Debian and Arch Linux. Both get a point each. Both Debian and Arch Linux as two of the biggest Linux distros have excellent documentation and community support. Arch Linux gives you the legendary Arch Wiki, a centralized one-stop shop for everything. It's so good that it's basically the ultimate cheat code for the entire Arch Linux. It has any and all the questions or solutions to problems you might have. Debian 2 has excellent community support. It has official manuals and I feel that even other blogs and articles regarding it are very easy to find. 
Basically, with both of these, any issues you might have, any questions, you'll find solutions very easily. I really like that Arch, which is a do-it-yourself distro, has super easy to use centralized wiki. Ultimately, both are very good and both get a pointage in this department. Now, it's time to pick my personal favorite. For me, personally, Arch Linux is the one that I enjoy using the most. The rolling release model, the newest of everything, and especially the Arch user repository. It just gives me access to anything I want right away. But I also really value Debian. It set it and forget its stability makes it a perfect for long-term work and my coding. I know it will just run without surprises. So in the end, Debian is the reliable workhorse while Arch is the exciting playground. And if I had to pick one as my favorite, it's Arch Linux. So by the total tally of points, Debian wins this battle of the giants, although you have to notice that the margin is very small. Ultimately, the choice between Debian and Arch Linux comes down to you, your preferences, your work, your tolerance for surprises, and above all, your Linux skill level. These are two very different distributions built for very different kinds of people. Debian is all about stability and predictability, and Arch is all about control and bleeding edge excitement. And I hope I've laid out the information clearly so that you can make an informed decision about which one fits you best. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely consider subscribing to the channel and also leave me a big thumbs up. And if you are interested in learning up your Linux skills, the link to my course Linux Mastery Express is given in the description below. It's designed to teach you Linux and take you from zero to hero in the shortest time possible. You'll be using Linux like a pro within a matter of hours, so definitely check that out. Next up, check out the top 15 hottest hacks that will supercharge your Linux desktop's performance to the next level and truly unlock your Linux. It's got some really cool tweaks, so definitely don't miss that. Alright, this is the next text, signing out.